The investigation into former CIA Director David Petraeus has widened to include his former deputy, General John Allen. Allen is the top U.S. and NATO commander in Afghanistan. According to a statement released from the Pentagon today, military officials have referred the investigation to the Inspector General. At issue is a cache of written communications between Allen and Jill Kelly, the Tampa woman who first alerted the FBI to harassing emails she received. Department officials have asked the president to postpone the nomination of Allen to commander of NATO forces in Europe pending the investigation. For more on what these developments could mean for the war in Afghanistan and issues such as the CIA-run drone program, we're joined by Ray McGovern. McGovern was a CIA analyst for 27 years, during which time he prepared the president's daily brief on intelligence. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you, Dorian. With Petraeus's resignation and the investigation into Allen, could, could the new scrutiny refocus attention on Afghanistan or affect the withdrawal of troops, which is now scheduled for 2014? Well, it is my dear hope that this would be the case. And it all depends on whether well, Barack Obama, now that he has a real mandate, now that he has four more years, whether he'll get the backbone to stand up to these folks. Uh, It was purely a a political decision on his part to double down twice in Afghanistan. He didn't want to seem weak on terrorism, right? Nobody wants to seem weak on terrorism. It's like the old days with respect to communism. So what needs to happen, in my view, is Obama has to greet this as as a golden opportunity. Petraeus was a roadblock here. You always had to look over your shoulder and see what Petraeus might say about these things, whether it was progress on Iran or whether it was uh, the the lack of progress with respect to Afghanistan. Now he doesn't have to worry about that. So one way to look at this is an opportunity uh, for a new Obama administration. And another opening is at the CIA, acting CIA director right now is Michael Morell. He was the deputy director under Petraeus and also Leon Panetta. What's his background and what does he bring to the position? Well, he brings a very checkered career uh, because anybody at that level in CIA who worked under George Tenet Uh, participated in the deliberate falsification of intelligence prior to Iraq. Okay, now, Mike Morrell was in the thick of that. He was uh, chief of staff to George Tenet for a while, just as John Brennan was. So to have a person up in that kind of position who was part of all that business is really, uh, you know, it's unconscionable in my view. Now, he's not going to make any waves. He won't do anything. Uh, he'll wait to smell the prevailing winds. I kind of doubt whether they'll give him the job, the, you know, the permanent job. But while he's uh, supervising things, uh, he's going to just follow what Petraeus has been doing. And unfortunately, that means uh, an active warfare role for the for uh, the CIA, because as you know, the operational part of the CIA is running the drone program over countries that we're not at war with, like Pakistan and Yemen and Somalia. Because why? Well, because covert action is to give the president a plausible denial. In the armed forces and then in the CIA, Petraeus had significant influence in several key areas. One of them is the CIA-run drone strikes, the drone program. What's his legacy on this? Well, his legacy is uh, encouraging the administration to, to choose this method of warfare. Now, you know, the counterinsurgency that was so ballyhooed when Petraeus went to Afghanistan the second time, it hasn't worked. Obviously, it hasn't worked. Last question, and this is on Iran. Petraeus was a strong supporter of sanctions. How could his departure affect U.S. policy toward Iran and, and towards the monitoring of its nuclear program? Well, Petraeus, uh, whether he believed it or not, uh, made Iran out to be the real betsmoir, right, the real culprit of uh, all the world's problems. And when he was a commander in Iraq, uh, he told Mike Mullen, the chief of staff, he said, uh, Mike, uh, we've just rounded up a whole depot of weapons recently made in Iran, right here in Iraq, so we can expose what the Iranians are doing in, in fueling the, the, the problems we have in Iraq, okay? Well, Mullen gets up and he tells a, a press conference, uh, Petraeus is going to show you all these weapons in about 10 days. Stay tuned. Guess what? 
<laughs> the weapons turned out to be not Iranian. The press conference is canceled. And did you hear a word about this in the establishment press? No. It was an extreme embarrassment, but Petraeus was leading on, you know, trying to blacken the Iranians. Ray McGovern was a CIA analyst for nearly three decades. He prepared and briefed the president's daily brief and chaired national intelligence estimates. Ray McGovern, thank you for joining us. You're most welcome, Dorian.